writer in the brains of zombie cities. Brains, yeah, the okay. brains, yeah. I just don't know how that long that's going to last. So technically. Technically. Well, you know, with zombies chasing me all day long, you know, it, it could end any time. Yeah. Excellent. But uh, it's uh, myself. This project is a collaboration between myself and about uh, 20 different artists from uh, Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra, uh, Brazil, Indonesia, the Philippines. So the production team is as big as the scope of this project. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. fantastic. Now, how did you guys all get together? Uh, I found everybody, basically, yeah. Uh, I first started off with a, a print, um, which is, um, actually, it's this print here. It's uh, this print here. And uh, I, uh, I did this print for, for charity to raise money for the Brain Foundation, who research a cure for oh, Alzheimer's. That's wonderful. Condition. That's yeah. like the zombie walk. They exactly. do charity same, same as well. Price, yeah. And uh, so I did that print. Uh, I got a lot of, um, a lot of um, orders and stuff from Facebook. And then people from London started writing into me saying, could you do one for London? And uh, I was already writing a Sydney story. I said, come on, come on, do a London story. And I, th I thought I'd do a London. Then Tokyo started writing in. And when three countries started writing, I thought, hang on, I might have something here. This is a huge international so, con conglomerate of zombies. Zombie lovers. Yeah, zombie technically. lovers. Yeah. So then I did. Uh, yeah, started doing a massive. Uh, now we've done uh, Sydney, uh, Washington, uh, New York, uh, Tokyo. Did I say London. Oh, and, yeah, I think uh, I think you did. <laughs> sorry, and uh, Rio de Janeiro as well. Now, for your sort of work, what are you doing these days? Uh, primarily, um, I'm a cover artist. Uh, I, I started as a, an interior penciler. I started inking myself as well. And um, I started doing covers on the side too, which is uh, now I, I still do interior work, but I've been primarily doing covers. So I pencil, ink, and color covers for Marvel Comics primarily. And um, I pretty much do that full time. accessible before. One of them is a little thing I did called Full Metal Fantasy that a lot of people, how many of you guys have never seen Full Metal Fantasy? Really? Oh my gosh. I tell you what, let's make a deal. You guys come back to my Q&A tomorrow and I will show you Full Metal Fantasy. I'm here with John Rogers of Zomster Gunpla Workshop. Uh, can you tell me exactly what it is you're doing here today? Today we're teaching people how to build Gunpla from scratch. Oh, wow. a, lot of, a lot of people who come to the conventions, they know the animes, they know uh, the comics, that sort of thing, but they haven't actually seen the model kits as a, uh, as a hobby. So we run them through the cheapest, <laughs> simplest kits we can find and show them step by step how actually easy it is to get into it. Then from there, we open it up to a whole range of ones that you can see in the cabinets here in terms of quality, posability, designs, that sort of thing. So these are, these are all things that people have assembled themselves, is that right? Every single one you see in there, someone has bought a model kit from us or from one of the other stores that are around, built it completely from the box. Some of them have painted it, some of them have uh, done their own little thing with modifications, mixing kits together, that sort of right. thing. These two ones up here, we've built them straight out of the box without any glue or paint. Right. So wow. it just gives you an idea of what you can expect just from opening a box and sticking it together yourself. Yeah, I can see that. Nigel Renard. Now, you're the uh, founder of Siren Visual. That's great. Excellent. So, uh, how did uh, your company come to exist? Well, we first started uh, doing music distribution back in 1987. So, uh, I was distributing music throughout Australia, imported music throughout Australia. Okay. So I actually cool. owned the uh, Missing Link record shop down in Melbourne, which is a very well known independent record store at the time. Oh, fantastic. History, this is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and then I had a person come work to me called uh, Paul Wegard, who is actually one of the founders of Madman. 
back in about Mad Men. Uh, wow, <laughs> as well. These guys work together like wow. Yes, yes, yes. Back in uh, 1992, I think he started with me, and uh, he had a major interest in uh, animation. So, as I say, we were distributing music at the time, and it was a natural fit to approach uh, music stores to carry um, video product back then, of course, uh, of uh, whatever we could get on video. And uh, we went after the manga label, which was the first label to release uh, uh, manga anime in the UK back in the early 90s again. So, so you guys would have been the first guys in Australia to be doing this at the time. We were the first yeah. guys in Australia. We, we secured the uh, original licence and started distributing back in 1994. So we were putting out things like Wicked City and Ghost in the Shell and Ninja Scroll and um, you know quite a, quite a large number of other uh, series and film titles at the time. Well, now, now viewers at home you may not know this, but I think this man here is totally responsible for me loving anime as a child. So I hold you fully responsible. Well, for us to say thank you. Japanese animation, yeah. Yes, yes, definitely, <laughs> definitely. the Supernova Festival. How is it for you guys? Is it a great sort of event for you? Well, look, it's good uh, promotion-wise. We get, obviously, to be in touch with the fan base uh, uh, on the regular basis. So we attend all of the Supernova events around Australia. And there are a couple of other things uh, uh, like Armageddon and various other festivals that happen as well. So we pick and choose depending on how successful we think uh, the events are and how close they are to each other. So you don't want to be attending one event one week in the same city and then doing it again the following week because you just obviously, you know, you won't, you won't sell anything for a start. No. So, look, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a way for us to just present our product to the people who are basically the biggest fan base. Uh, Getting in touch with the fans is exactly what you need. Keeps you, keeps you down close and, and knowing what uh, everyone's interested into. Mm. That kind of stuff, and, oh, yeah. and getting to show people what you're all about. And thank you again, sir. Uh, it's great talking to you. Thank you very much, guys. Siren Visual. Seeing everyone dress up and everyone complimenting each other on their costumes is just so much fun. Uh, so, 